there's two different definitions for the word exposed in Article 100. We have exposed as it relates to live parts, and we have exposed as it relates to wiring methods. So we'll take those alphabetically. Exposed live parts. Uh, that means that the live parts are able to be accidentally touched or approached closer than is safe by a person. Okay, so here we're looking at a transformer. Uh, obviously, these are live parts and they are exposed live parts. So these are actually in an enclosure. If you look at the definition of enclosure in Article 100, it does include, you know, concrete walls, things like that. So these are enclosed, but they're also exposed because they are able to be accidentally touched or approached closer than is safe by a person. So these would be exposed live parts. There's also an informational note that tells us that exposed live parts are those that are not guarded, isolated, or insulated. Okay, so what you're looking at here in this picture is actually quite interesting. This is a functional working Van de Graaff generator. Uh, this is at a facility where I consult where they have to have uh, extremely high voltage uh, because of what they do at the facility. They, they test a particular type of equipment that requires extraordinarily high voltage. Um, the amount of current flowing through this is almost immeasurably low. I mean, it's a 0 0.000, you know, there, there's next to no current, but there's a massive amount of voltage. So when you're walking around this thing, if you, if you touch that, um, you, you could potentially get shocked, although the, the frequency is also quite high. Um, but nonetheless, you know, would it, would it kill you? Well, there's, there's next to no current available, so no, it wouldn't. But we still don't want people walking up to it and monkeying around with it, so we have enclosed that. So the, the note says, exposed life parts are those that are not guarded, isolated, or insulated. Okay, well, we know what insulated means, even though it's not defined. I mean, insulated, <laughs> it, it's covered with some sort of insulating medium. So what does guarded or isolated mean? Uh, is the equipment that we're looking at here, is that guarded or isolated or insulated? It's certainly not insulated. Is it guarded or isolated? Well, now we kind of have to look at a couple more definitions just so we can figure out the status of this equipment. Is it guarded? Well, guarded means that it's protected against dangerous approach or contact by covers, rails, screens, barriers, platforms, or similar. All right, so this equipment here is certainly guarded. It, it's covered by covers. What about this one back here? Is this guarded? Yes, they built this chain link fence around it to guard the live parts. And again, going back to that definition of enclosure, this would be enclosed, although once you're inside of the enclosure, once you're inside of the fence, then it is exposed live parts. But they are guarded. So with the fence in place, these are not exposed live parts. It also means that they're not isolated. So isolated means that they're not readily accessible unless a special means of access is used. All right, so this uh, substation here is not accessible unless some sort of, it's not readily accessible unless a special sort of access is used. So we would have to use a key which is still considered readily accessible, right, if I have a key. But we would have to use a key, we'd have to get clearance to get in there. It's an electric fence that surrounds it. If we wanted to get up here to the live parts, we would have to use a ladder, we would have to use a special means of access. So this equipment is isolated. And I would even say that it's guarded as well. So again, exposed live parts means that it's able to be accidentally touched or approached closer than is safe by a person. And again, it means that they're not guarded, isolated, or insulated. Now, exposed wiring methods is a different story. And of course, when we talk about wiring methods, we're talking about NM cable, MC cable, rigid metal conduit, EMT, you know, wiring methods. So when are my wiring methods exposed? Well, exposed is on or attached to a surface or behind panels that are designed to allow access. All right, so if it's on the surface of something, then obviously it's exposed. You can see it, you can walk right up to it and touch it, that's certainly exposed. 
But unlike the Webster's Dictionary of Exposed, exposed wiring methods would include something that you can't necessarily see, like the wiring above the suspended ceiling. That would be an example of wiring that's what? Behind panels that are designed to allow access. So the wiring up above a suspended ceiling is considered exposed. The wiring beneath a raised floor, like in an IT room, that is considered exposed. Uh, if you have wiring, like a, if you have a hydro massage bathtub in your master bathroom, you're probably going to have an access panel somewhere so that you can get to the motor. At least you should have that. Well, the wiring behind that access panel is what? It's exposed. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, and ring the bell.